Well, they had a great day yesterday, didn't they? They had their backs against the wall and they came out fighting the Aussies. Well, the one thing they've done throughout this whole test match is win big moments. Um, we, we've seen a couple of outstanding catches, one from Muslim Khawaja and one from Steve Smith to, to get rid of Pajara, who was playing beautifully on, on this wicket. But the difference has been... They've come up for the big moments and they've won them this time, not India. What about India? Pressure on India? I know they've won the series, Junior, and they're 2-0 up so far in the series. Rohit Sharma, have they taken the gas here a little bit or not? I think they've been slightly complacent um, looking at the way they've played this game. In the first innings with the bat, I think there was three or four dismissals that looked a little bit loose um, to my eye. The bowling uh, for them in the first innings wasn't as good as we're expecting from the Indian spinners. But Australia have played well. They've, they've bounced back and maybe... India just thought it would happen. Once they won the toss and batted first, they just expected it to happen. And to Australia's credit, they've been really tough and really smart in their cricket in this uh, game. They, they, they look flustered to me in yeah. Indian batting. I, I know there was a couple of great deliveries and a couple of great catches, but they just looked out of sorts today with the bat. Well, they, they've looked in a panic mode sort of all game, I think, and starting from the first day with, with the bat and the ball. But um, they just haven't looked their calm selves. And maybe that's been because they've been chasing the game. They've been behind, under pressure. And Australia bowled very, very well. You know, you look at Nathan Lyon, he's not bowled one bad ball, yep. I don't think, yep. uh, in this game yep. so far. So he's put pressure on India. The pitch, I think, um, is probably too much in favour of the spinners. So the Indian, ba- the Indian batsmen haven't been comfortable on this surface, even though it should suit them. There's probably a bit of luck involved in the way you, way you get runs on this pitch. I think the, the pitch has nullified the skill of the Indian batsmen. Uh, they, they play well on turning wickets and, and low bounce, we know that. But th- this wicket's been all about luck. It's been going through the top. Um, some have been rolling. So you, you can never get yourself in. We've seen at times when the ball has turned and kept low, India have always been in control. But on this wicket, they weren't in control of their technique, which they wouldn't be happy about. It's hard to believe, uh, Junior, and you picked up on it before, where India out for 109. Every team that has won the toss, batted first, has lost the test matches in this series, and that is very rare. It is unusual, but what you've got to remember in these three test matches, the pitch has been bad on the first day as it is on the third day. So it's not, it's not like it's deteriorated throughout the game. So, I mean, it's equally hard to bat on the first day as later in the game. So the, the toss has actually been irrelevant. you think it would be relevant, but it hasn't been because the pitch has been so tough on the first morning. Well, these are Australia's test wins since 1970. Number eight wickets of 1998. And then uh, in Mumbai by 10 wickets. Angaluru, Nagpur, Pune and then indoor down there by nine wickets. I mean, they're they're big wins, aren't they, boys? I mean, yes, you want to win series. I know you want to do that. But these are good stepping stones. Well, they're enormous wins. What it does show, if you can get on a roll as well, we've seen Australia when they get on a a roll and lose wickets fast, the same can happen to India. You need a lot of luck on on these wickets. If things just start to to go your way, you play that brand of cricket to to create more luck, and that's what they did. So they'll take a lot of confidence from this, and we've got the opportunity now to... Mm. to level the series. No doubt. They changed their game plan in this yep. third test match compared to the first two. I know they cop criticism and we all jumped on and said, yep. look, you can't play that way. But they've definitely changed, haven't they? No, well, I think the lucky thing was there was 10 days between the second and third test. So you could actually reboot, refresh. It wasn't a quick turnaround. So you didn't have that in the back of your mind. They, they got away from what they were doing. They played a bit of golf and, and relaxed. Um, but technically with the bat, their shot selection was much better. You know, they were, the balance between attack and defence was so much better in this game. And, and, you know, there wasn't the risky shots that we saw in the first two test matches. So you, they've learnt well, which is a great sign that you do yep. um, learn from your mistakes. We can all make mistakes, but if you learn from them, I think we can all accept that. With the ball, I thought, you know, was so accurate. We just let the pitch do the work for, for us. We didn't try and, you know, yep. over-attack or we didn't try too hard. We executed well, like the ball left the hand beautifully on Nathan Lyon. You know, he bowled so accurately, but he let the pitch do the work for him. Getting into the next test match, I mean, I, I like it. The next test match is on Thursday, uh, and you don't need to change a side. I know Pat comes as near Dave Warner's on here. You don't have to think about that from the selector's point of view, do they? No, Which is don't. good, surely. Yeah, no, you don't. But an interesting thing about this test match as well is the first time that Green and Stark were available. And Green's yep. a big player, not only with bats, but also that you give that balance with the ball. He's got, got height. It's interesting you said about how Australia have learnt. Um, wonder if they're regretting not playing a tour game or, or going to the to UAE to, to get used to the heat. Um, ha- have a couple. They of, got better. That, well, they have. That, that's the one thing they've done. They've got better as the Test series gone on. I mean, you never know. I mean, often you play yeah. tour matches, and to be honest, the last Some two, the last two days are a waste yeah. of time. So, yeah. yeah, I mean, that's something to look at. But I also think India took their foot off the pedal in this game. I thought they were a bit complacent. 
Yep. I thought that once they won the toss, it was, was going to happen for them. But with the bat, though, they didn't get the right balance between attack and defence. A lot of their bats went through their wickets away with over-attacking shots. With the ball, I thought in the first innings, um, they were nowhere near as accurate as they can be. They bowled a lot of half volleys. So I think India have got a bit of thinking to do now. They've got to bounce back because they were way below their best in this game. Murphy gets wickets first test match. Kuderman gets wickets. Um, do you think that sort of was in the back of his mind a little bit? Uh, possibly. I mean, he's got a lot of pride, Nathan Lyon, and the two young guns sort of out bowling him, if you like, in the first two tests. No doubt about it. I think it would have just sparked him up a little bit and say, hey, hang on. I know you guys did well, but I'm still the top dog here. So, and he's come out and shown it, hasn't he? Um, not that he bowled badly in the first yep. two tests, but you know, I think it might have just sparked him up a little bit. He was unlucky in the, in the first Test match. He had a lot of chances put down. Murphy got the results on, on the scoreboard, but Nathan was still the, the pick of the bowls for the first two Test matches, in, in my view, and, and he showed his class this time. Let's just... have a look. Yeah, well, exactly right, Hats. Um, best bowling in India, 8 for 50 at Bangalore. That was 2017. They eight lost for, the yes, they match. lost the Test match to Australia. We don't want to talk about that. And then indoor, 8 for 64. One thing um, you get with spinners in India, when you're on a roll, you just keep going, don't you? You keep bowling. Well, that's the, the one thing I think he's improved the most. Once he gets a sniff now, Nathan Lyon, he can take the game a, away and put it back in Australia's favour. He, he gets um, big wickets there, as we've seen by a couple of eight, eight fers and um, he got a five for last test match. But he, when he gets on a roll now, he capitalises. I reckon if he played all his cricket in India, he'd have 600 test wickets at 25. Yeah, well, I reckon you're dead right. What we don't want, boys, is Ravi Ashwin to get up there oh, more than 106. He's got 106. We don't want him to take over. Nathan not, Lyon and 113. Today, anyway. Maybe in uh, that wouldn't be good. Arnabad that wouldn't be good. Yeah. Um, but amazing record. Amazing record yep. for Nathan Lyon. Right? Longevity and just consistency. You know what you're going to get with Nathan Lyon. That doesn't matter what the conditions. If you're playing in Australia, you know he's going to bowl well, tie up, and end. he mightn't get all the wickets, but he'll he'll make uh, the opposition work hard for his runs either at home and away. Steve Smith, great work. Hats um, Nathan Lyon. Uh, plenty of ticks out there for Australia, especially with the banks against the wall. What I liked about it, they trust their style. Um, that they went back to what's been working for them in the past. They did well in Sri Lanka, they did well in Pakistan. And the one big difference was Steve Smith also. I thought he was tactically mm. yep. um, really good. Stark was um, good to see him back. Um, but the balance of the team was perfect also. All right, next test match um, starts on Thursday. Yes. Are uh, they going to make any changes? I wouldn't have thought so. Depending on the pitch, I mean, if there's a stack of grass on the pitch, you know, Australia might play the extra quick, but then which spinner did they drop? Because Kuhneman was great in this game and the first innings in particular. Mm, it's a hard one, isn't it? I think Australia are probably going with the same team. I cannot see a green seamer in Ahmedabad, to be honest. I think India will make one change. I think Shemi has to come back in. So Raj gets the boot, surely. Yeah. Well, Shemi got rested, didn't he? Well, so. it's interesting to, to rest him. Um, they have had a lot of time off yeah. um, during the Test match, so maybe that's uh, where India just got a little bit complacent and then it came back to bite them this time. I know they've got a lot of cricket up on the, coming up for Australia, but they've, they've made the World Championships, that'll be, I think, at the Oval of Lords, uh, against India, I'm thinking. Yes. Uh, as long as Sri Lanka don't beat New Zealand, New Zealand. in New Zealand. Yeah. yeah, well, Australia, the only way they could miss out is if they lost four tests here and Sri Lanka won 2-0 in New Zealand. So that's, that's gone. So Australia into the World Cup final. Is that what we call it, World Cup final? Test Championship final. Test Championship final. At the Oval, uh, it is, they'll, yes. They'll play India, so I think that's... Uh, Turner? <laughs> well, actually, the Oval does turn a bit. It's it's one of the pitches that does turn, but looking forward to that. But, um, you know, Australia's still got a lot to play for, as have India in this last test. Two all, potentially draw this series for Australia. Can India bounce back um, after thinking they were, you know, going to mm. just wipe Australia off in yep. this series?